ISO 9000 Quality Management Systems Implementing Quality Insurance to Your Business What we're seeing now is a, a growing demand for ISO 9000 for people to supply to government as well as um, government contracts and boosting their bottom line and being more of a responsible business so we'll look at some of the requirements that um, form a part of um, your quality assurance to make sure your business runs a little bit more more smoother basically quality assurance and management systems has been around for a while it used to be around in laboratories for a number of years before it came out in the early um, 1990s so audits are an essential part of a conformity assessment when they're looking at um, your business operations so it's more checking on the business making sure what's going on is actually reflected in the procedures so everyone knows what's going on and there's no hidden um, agendas so when you put a management system in place we need to um, determine the processes so how are we going to do that the sequence and interaction of these processes the criteria methods that needed to look after the operations of the business and the availability of resources to, to um, carry on those operations once we've got that in a place then we've got to monitor and measure these processes and then implement actions if we need to um, raise a corrective action so from the outcome of having a quality system in place we'll have a effective audit program so we'll be doing um, a schedule of audits of, of the system over a 12 month period and also audits are scheduled on the basis of risks that are important so you might have some areas that are more important you need to look at to try and control that area um, to try and reduce your risks in the uh, non-conformance that would have been raised in that um, defecting, uh, implementing an effective audit checklist and uh, reviewing and following up corrective action so you can see where we've gone wrong and trying to improve on that and then uh, management review meeting where there's a meeting once every 12 months to um, see where the business is going so you can work out what we need to do for the next 12 months also there's a free web webinar on auditing for small business and there's the links that we've got from there